Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix poor image quality in your Microsoft Access reports when printing, either printing or print preview, or creating PDFs. This is something I get asked every couple months or so, and this just came up in my forums, in fact. One of my students was like, I'm putting high quality images into my database using my images technique, which I'll show you in just a second. But the image quality is coming up really poor. He's getting something that looks like this, whether it's print preview or exporting a PDF or printing it on his high quality printer. And then after I showed him a fix, we got it to look like this, pretty good. So let's talk about this and how to fix this problem. Okay, first off, if you haven't watched my images video, go watch this right now first. All right, I show you the proper way to work with images in your Access database. The bottom line here is we're not going to be storing images inside our database. We're going to be referring to them by file name. We don't want to store any kind of files inside our database. And interesting to note, you can see right here in the print preview for this sample report that I've got here, I've got the low quality image problem going on in that video too. I just didn't address it. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to fix that. Okay, first off, let's talk about my images. I got three pretty good sized images here. Each one's under half a meg, uh, but they're, they're really good quality. All right, there's a landscape I'm going to use. Okay, you can see the crispness of the picture, right? And then I got a couple of pictures of the enterprise. There's one and there's two. So I want them to be this quality in the database, both in the print preview and when I print it out and if I make a PDF file out of it. So let's go stick these into a report in the database. Okay, here's my tech help free template. This is a free download off my website if you want to grab yourself a copy. And I'm going to throw an image field into my order table. Why my order table? Well, because I've already got an invoice report already made up based on this table. So just to keep things easy. So let's right click design view. I'm going to add a field called my pick. That'll be short text. Remember, we're going to store the path and file name to each image in the table. All right, save the table here. These are all located in the folder G my drive. So I'll put that in there. Okay, and the actual file names are landscape.jpg. I've got enterprise1.jpg and enterprise2.jpg. And I recommend you use JPEGs or PNG files. Those have the best image quality. GIFs, yeah, yeah. And bitmaps are okay. You can get good image quality with bitmaps but they tend to be gigantic files. So JPEG is my, my image standard of choice. But PNGs also have some benefits like transparent backgrounds. Okay, so now, save, the tape, save changes to that table. Let's add that image to our invoice report, which is right here, design view. I'm just going to get rid of all the fields up here because we don't need them for this example. And I'm going to put the image right here. So I'm going to go up to my toolbox, find the image. Tool, not this guy, not the, not the unbound object frame or the bound object frame. We don't use those very rarely. Okay. Use the image tool, drag a box right there. Okay. It's going to want you to browse for a picture. We're going to hit cancel. Remember how to do this from the other video, right? All right. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just so we can see the whole picture in nice quality inside this report. All right. Just like that. Let's open up the properties for this image. Go to all. The control source is going to be my pick, that field we just made. And I'll also change the name. Okay. Make sure the size mode is set to either zoom or clip. If you stretch the image, it is going to look distorted, right? Zoom is your best bet. It keeps the height width ratio the same. Ratio? Ratio. <laughs> All right. And clip will just clip it off. So we don't want that one. So I like to stick with zoom. Okay. Another setting I like to do is the report itself has a setting on the other tab called fast laser printing. This generally doesn't fix any problems, but if you do have a laser printer, it will sometimes scale down the image a bit to print it out faster. So set that to no if you want a high quality printout. Okay. Usually that doesn't fix problems with color photos, but it can, it can change some things. All right. So let's save this. 
Let's close this guy, and we're going to go back into Print Preview it. In the Customer form, go to Orders, and then hit the Invoice button here. I'm going to close the ribbon a little bit. Invoice. Okay, there it is. You can already see the quality is suffering, right? Zoom in, see? That doesn't look anywhere near as good as the original. Okay, let's take a look at another one. All right, there's the Enterprise. Again, looks like junk. Okay. And where's the third one? The third one, I think, is on Jim Kirk's orders here. Let's see. Orders, invoice, and yeah, that's not anywhere near as good as we want to see it. Now, if you export this as a PDF, I'm going to go back to that other one because I think it's a better picture. Let's go back to me, and let's go to my enterprise, which is on order two. Okay. Yeah, this is the best one. All right. So if we export this image now as a PDF right here, Okay, there's what it's going to be. Now, the default is minimum size. If you pick minimum size here, you're going to get a compressed image, which will not look great. Okay. It looks better than what we have in the print preview in the report, but it's still not fantastic. Let me zoom in here a little bit. It looks okay. It's a little grainy, though. All right, and if you don't believe me, compare that to the original. There's the original right there. Okay, and there's the, the PDF set the minimum size. I don't know how well this comes out in the video, but you can clearly tell a difference. And if you're working with, you know, if you want to make a, a report that is, you know, you want, you want photo quality stuff, like you're printing out a product catalog or something, this makes a difference. All right, if you're just up, you know, uploading it for uh, something stupid, then that, you know, don't worry about it. Okay, all right, so close this. Now, if we do export it with the higher quality, it looks a little better, all right? Go to standard. Publish, overwrite. It looks a little better. Still not perfectly as crisp, but that's not bad. Okay. All right, so close that. But the problem remains, how do we get this to look nice and sharp even here inside the database? And it will make our PDFs look even sharper too. Well, let's close this report. I'm going to close this stuff down real quick. Now, before we do this next step, I want to compact the database, all right? So database, tools, compact, and repair. And let's go check the size of the database file. All right, right-click, properties. All right, right now we're sitting at 896K. Keep that in mind, because we haven't put any images inside the database at all, which we, we don't want to do. Very rarely do I, do I say do that. If you're doing like a single company logo and it's a small little piece of clip art or whatever, that's okay, all right? But, but a whole bunch of big pictures like this, no, 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 we don't do that. So back in the database, now how do we fix this bitmap problem? We're going to go to File, Options. We're going to go to Current Database. So this is a setting you'll have to do in each one of your databases. And right down here, it says Picture Property Storage Format. Convert all picture data to bitmaps. Compatible with Access 2003 and, and earlier. All right, what does this mean? Well, this means when your database reads an image in, even if it's not stored in the database, it's going to convert that image to a bitmap, which could be uh, the highest possible resolution, and then display it. So it actually takes a tiny little bit of time to do the conversion. You shouldn't notice it unless you got gigantic files. These, these, these images I've got that are half a mag, they load up in almost an unnoticeable, unnoticeable short amount of time. All right, but if you've got like, you know, 10 meg files that you're pulling over a network, yeah, you might notice a little bit of a delay. All right, but it'll basically read it in and convert it to a bitmap on the fly and display it in the best possible resolution. Okay, let's hit OK. Now, you might have to close the database and restart it. I have noticed that you generally don't have to. Let's go take a look at the images now. Go to Orders. Go to Invoices. And, ooh, ah, look at that. It looks so much better, doesn't it? Even here in the print preview. Okay, let's go to our enterprise. Uh, look at that. Nice and sharp. See? Let me zoom in here, even in the database. And let's see how we compare this to the full version. Let's see. Where's the image? Slide it over here. Look at that. That's about the same quality. All right. Looks almost identical. Let's make a PDF out of it. Export to PDF. Make sure you pick standard. Hit publish. Take a peek. 
All right, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I think that's about the best quality you're going to get out of a PDF. Yep. Very good quality. And you get good quality inside the database, too. Okay. All right, hit close. So that's the major fix is, is changing that setting. Now, there is a little bit of a performance set on your database. And if I compact, actually, if I take a look now at the database, hold on. Let's take a look at the size now. All right, notice it did balloon up a little bit to 1.02 megabytes. Not that big, because basically when it read in that file, it converted it to a bitmap and it's stored internally in the database now. But the good news is, is it's not permanent storage. So if you come in here and compact again, it'll drop right back down. And we're right back down to 896 where we started. So yes, it does store some image information in the database, but if you regularly compact, you won't have to worry about that. Okay, so what have we learned today? Well, first, use a good quality image. I recommend JPEG. PNGs next, best, and of course, BMPs. GIFs don't usually turn out too well unless you got like really super high quality ones. I stick to JPEGs. Make sure the size mode of your image is set to zoom or clip, not stretch. If you're exporting to PDF, make sure you set that export to standard, not minimal size. I like to set the fast laser printing option of the report to no. And the big fix under file options, current database, convert all picture data to bitmaps. Remember, Access will read that in, convert it to a bitmap, and display it nice and pretty. And some other things that I really didn't talk much about, make sure you get the most recent version of Office or Access installed. Um, I know that older versions, especially 2013 and 2016, had some big problems with images. In fact, sometimes the image just wouldn't display at all. Okay, and you had to make that setting change in order for to, to see the image. Instead of just a poor one, you'd see nothing. Um, if you are using embedded images, like a company logo embedded into a report, you might have to remove it and then reinsert it again after you make that change. And finally, if you're printing it out and it still doesn't look good, update your printer driver. I know a lot of people don't think to update the drivers on their system, but you might have an older original printer driver installed, and it might just need to be updated from the manufacturer. You can usually do that through Windows Update. So there you go. That's how you update your database to fix the poor quality images that might be displaying. Hope you learned something today. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them down below. I hope you learned something. And we'll see you next time.